This is my taper from 14 to 12. And since it doesn't quite fit just right, doesn't go over it, they're about exactly the same size. So I'm going to use this crimper. It's a Malco C3, C3. <laughs> and uh, put more of the double blade on the inside and single blade on the outside. And it will actually change the diameter of the pipe. And depending on how hard I crimp it, and how far apart they are, it will bring it in more. I only need to come in about a sixteenth of an inch to get this bell rooster over it, the taper. So I'm going to go about half an inch apart, and I probably won't even go around the whole thing. Just part. Okay, I'm going to give it a try. Beautiful. That'll make a good seal once I screw it in place and put the uh, duct sealant on it. Alright, I got the bell reducer on now, and before I'm going to pookie it, I want to put the next piece on so I can seal them together. <laughs> it's called pookie, uh, duct sealant. Oh, that's a technical term. The technical term, yeah. Uh, here's the crimper. You see on one side it has two blades, on the other it has one. They actually make one that has three blades on one side and two on the other that can go even faster but it doesn't crimp as deep, so if you need to resize the pipe too much, it won't work. But once again, more blades on the inside of the pipe for a better crimp. To hang my piece of 12 inch, I've hung the strap right here at an approximate height and then I'm going to bring the spiral pipe in and through it just to support it so that I can attach it onto my bell reducer. Uh, once it's in place then I'll level it off and adjust the strap as needed. The reason why we reduce the size as it goes through is because as we take off registers and more air, the static pressure will decrease and you want to keep that static pressure usually around 0.1 on this duct system like this.